Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this section, we are going to see about set and reset concept in CX programmer. So, what is this set and reset? In our previous uh, you know, session, we have seen latching and unlatching concept, right? So, for all latching, we have to latch a contact in parallel to the input. Right, I hope you have remembered the example we have seen. So, I will show you one more time. So, I am taking one push button and naming that as 0, 0.00 and I have one output here. Let us name that as 100.0. So, I am connecting these two and uh, to latch this, I have a parallel contact here. So, I am naming that as 100.0. So, what will happen if I press this it will make a contact if if I release it will be still in on condition through this route correct so this is what latching is right so imagine you are having a uh, uh, you know big project and in that project you have multiple latching concept okay so for everything we have to connect a parallel contact to this and again you have to uh, put an unlatch uh, contact to turn off that particular output so this is bit complex right so to reduce this complex we have a separate block for this and that is called a set so latching you can also do with the set concept also and unlatching can be do with reset concept so set is like once you have set it it will be in on condition until you reset it right so let's see how to do that so i'm going to take one more uh, let's take the same uh, 0.00 and name that as one of the push button. So now I am going to turn on a motor using a set coil. Right. So I'm, how I am going to use, uh, get the set coil means take a block. So there is a new PLC instruction and the shortcut is I. Suppose after keeping here you press I. It will take you to the instruction list so from this whatever you want you can choose so i'll go with the option here click on that and now you need to get the set instruction so go for details if you don't know the you know keyword for reset or the particular number for the reset you can go for the details and get find instruction so in the find instruction go to sequence output and there you can find set over here set so click on that and click ok and it is asking for the operand so which one you want to set which output you want to set that address you have to give here so just type you are going to set one of the coil called 100.1 so just click ok so now what is happening here is we are going to set a coil name 100.01 see instead of latching instead of putting one parallel contact here you can make use of this set instruction to set a coil so let's go for simulation i'm going to turn on this so see 100.0001 is on. 100.01 is on. So if you turn off, it's still in on condition. It's same as this latching. Right? Now, how to turn off this? You can make use of a reset coil. So whenever you are introducing a set coil, you have to reset it someplace. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this input. Uh, 10.01 let's name this as pb2 and uh, take the same block and type r s reset so if you don't know what have to type for reset means same you can go for detail find instruction sequence output and there you can find the reset or set right and here also which coil you want to reset so this i have set it no so i'm going to use the same address 100.01 i 
and I'm going to reset that. So just connect with horizontal lines. Done. So let's go for simulation. So I'm going to turn on this. My output is on. See, 100.01 is on. Here also it will turn on because both are same address. No, that's what. And you can turn off. See, still it is in on condition. So once the purpose of 100.01 is done, you have to reset it. No, so I'm using one more coil, one more contact to reset it. That's it. See, it's off. I'm turning off this. That's it. I'll repeat. You are going to set it. It turns 1. Can you see the status of 100.01? It's 1. Turn off this. And turn on the reset coil. To reset the 100.01 output. That's it. So this is certain reset instruction. And we have plenty of applications for certain reset. So it will reduce your ladder size. The size of the program can be reduced with the help of such instructions. So I hope you have understood certain reset concept. So I will meet you in the next session. Before that, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. Thank you.